Good morning. I'm Julie Pastrick, President of the Greater Flagstaff Chamber, and you're listening to Chamber Biz Buzz. Thanks for tuning in this morning. It's always an honor to take you behind the scenes of great businesses and nonprofits and people here, people there in the region. Today, a great business that you probably have heard of before. The President and CEO, Matt Kent, is with us today from Meteor Crater Enterprises. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you because Meteor Crater is such an amazing enterprise and place to be, a destination location in northern Arizona. There's nothing comparable. How does it feel to have something that will never be duplicated? (laughs) You know, that's one of the attractions for me when I came here was Meteor Crater is really unique. There's nothing else on Earth like it. It's the best preserved meteorite impact site on Earth. On Earth, not in our area. Not in our area, on Earth. And it's because it's relatively new for an impact site. It's only 50,000 years old, which sounds like a lot. But reality is most of them are millions of years old and they're eroded and you can't really see them and study them. But what we have, it looks almost like it did when the meteorite made the impact. So it looks really like awesome. it could have been a couple months ago, I believe. But of course, I don't go on the floor, but it's so well preserved. Yeah, it's amazing. And that's part of our location in the high desert, you know, does that for us. Uh, and like I said, in being young, but it makes it rich for study and research. And it makes it just an amazing experience to go and view it. I know many of you have been to Meteor Crater. If you haven't been lately, or if you have guests coming, or if Grammy or mom's coming, you got to plan a trip. And here's why. Matt and I are going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff going on. But I think over the past decade, the renovations and the additions, the Space Museum, the gift shop is extraordinary, the rock collectors, paradise in there. How did all that evolve? Because I really think when you look at the Discovery Center, it hits you this is a big deal, and it wasn't always there. Yeah, I mean, it really evolved out of necessity. Because of our location being somewhat remote, as people traveled out, we needed to make a full experience for them. And you can't give all of the science just by looking at the crater. There's a lot of the research and a lot of the specifics to each science involved. How uh, and why and how, when and all that. What it's made of and yes. how did it happen and what was the impact on the area and the wildlife and Uh, 150 times greater than an atomic bomb. Yeah, actually, it's a 1,000 times greater than an atomic bomb. So it's really an amazing impact. It actually destroyed every living organism within a seven-mile radius. That's a big Uh, area. And, you know, you think about the impact at the time. It was just amazing. No kidding. So, so, so long ago. And when I come out to Meteor Crater with Grammy or with some friends, my neighbors, what kind of tours are available for us? Well, we do tours every hour on the hour and we take you out and you really learn about the stories and the science around the crater. But there's more than that. We also have two theaters, one that tells the whole history and gives a great documentary about the crater and the impact. And then we have a really fun interactive 4D experience for kids that take you on a mission to save earth with a character named jackie lopez so it's a lot of fun the seats move and you get puffs of air in your face it's so well done it's mind-boggling also when you approach the building that you can see for a long way as you're coming on in what's the deal with the apollo 2 space capsule Yeah, you know, we have a great and rich tradition with the Apollo program, and every astronaut that's been on the moon has trained at Meteor Crater. Every? Every. As a matter of fact, back in May, we had some of the Artemis astronauts out training, because with that perfect, pristine crater, they can learn how to navigate craters on the moon and how to collect rock samples and what have you. So we have this great, rich tradition with the Apollo program and with all of the lunar programs from NASA. And so we had the opportunity to add a test capsule from the Apollo program to our Astro Park area, and we added it, and it's one of our biggest attractions. In such a photo backdrop, you can't not get your photo with it. I mean, everything is so intriguing. Myself, I've been a science enthusiast, but I'm not a scientist or researcher or geologist. Geologist. Just study the rocks. Uh, and the so many and... people can hardly believe when they go out there what it's like. How about the theater? I have seen that movie a lot, but oh my gosh, it tells the story just so eloquently. Yeah, I think what's most impressive about that movie is you're actually hearing from the scientists themselves who did the initial research and certified that it was an impact site for that crater and really put it in common, easy to digest terms, what that crater is all about and why it's so significant today to everyone, to all of us. Mm -hmm. The whole existence of our planet 
is because of meteorites and the way our universe has been shaped by them. And it really connects you with it. And I love how you connect with Lowell Observatory, too, and just everybody kind of in a nice big circle and loop. We're speaking with Matt Kent, president and CEO of the Meteor Crater Enterprises. And when I was out a couple of months ago, you were talking about what's coming up right over there after you're standing by Apollo capsule right over there, the museum and... Yeah, we are at the beginning and design phases of a $25 million expansion We'll be adding the Behringer Space Museum, which is a state-of-the-art space museum with a full-sized asteroid that you can walk through and touch and feel different temperatures and have pop-up videos. We're going to have a virtual reality gallery where you can actually be on a a mission to move asteroids and save Earth. All in Meteor Crater. Yeah, yeah. All in Meteor Crater. We have this awesome obligation to protect this science and present it to the public And you see so many movies about asteroids and meteorites and making that bridge from Hollywood to reality and it's just an an obligation we feel like we have. So we're excited. Well, I'm really excited. There's nothing like that in our region with such a significant investment. If you're a science and all the other sciences above that we mentioned already, or if you're just curious, I think when I'm there, my curiosity and just the wonder of where I am, really overcomes me. Have you ever heard that before? I hear it all the time. And so many people have stories of seeing shooting stars and meteorite showers and what have you. To see when space and Earth come together and what happens. Because that meteorite was only 150 feet across. And the one that hit in Chicxulub that was the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs was several miles wide. So we can really start to imagine what would happen if this impact happened today. Oh, my Yes. I don't think I want to think about that right now. I want to think of all the expansion and all the great things that yes. people who are living on Earth can experience yes. at Meteor Crater. Matt Kent, I don't want to end without you saying something about the location. Because the location, when you're done with everything you've done, got your coffee, got your iced tea, and you just go sit out, it feels like you can see forever. Yeah, we're right off I-40 between Flagstaff and Winslow, and we're kind of really in the middle of it all. You get the ability to look across thousands and thousands of acres at incredible vistas and look back in Flagstaff and the mountains with this breathtaking view. As you said, you can sit with your coffee and just take it in. We have many of our visitors just stop and enjoy their lunch and just relax oh, yeah. and, and take it in. So Absolutely. Yeah. And then also the great expansion into Flagstaff with Planet Science. Yes. Where's the store? Yeah, it's on LaRue Street, 109 LaRue Street. What's in it? Planet Science is a community science hub where we have telescopes and maps and globes, and we have an interactive kids area where they can color and build things and look in microscopes and study things. There's so much rich science interest in the history here in northern Arizona and in Flagstaff that we felt like there was a need for a place for everybody to come together and enjoy that and celebrate. I couldn't agree more because there's so much traffic downtown and sometimes people come for a reason and they go out to eat or something and there's Planet Science right in the middle of it. It is so delightful. It makes me laugh watching people go in and out and their eyes are just kind of poked out and they're just going, wow, there's an alien on a bench there. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I hear all the time? I hear people come in, Flagstaff residents who live here year-round constantly come in and go flagstaff needed something like this we needed something like this downtown thank you we needed this yes that's so gratifying it should be because i couldn't agree more and that comes from the heart of all the people that are so happy i know it took some planning and i know it's off-site but the connection is brilliant so matt we have to go how do people find out how to get over to media crater and and get their tickets to come in on either a self-guided or a guided tour The best way is go to our website, www.meteorcrater.com, and you can buy tickets online, and you can learn all about Meteor Crater and what we have to offer. And when are you open? We are open seven days a week. We're open every day of the year except for Christmas, and we are open eight to six right now. Perfect. No excuses for anyone. You can stay home on Christmas with Santa, but you can't stay home for Meteor Crater next week or the next month. That's it. Have you, and on Thanksgiving, have your turkey and come to Meteor Crater. There you go. Thank you, Matt. We really appreciate your enthusiasm and what you're doing for the whole region and for your support of the Chamber of Commerce. We couldn't be more grateful. Well, and I have to say thank you to you and the Chamber. What you guys are doing for Flagstaff and for area businesses are phenomenal. And we couldn't do it without your support. So thank you. I appreciate it. It's our honor. 
That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Meteor Crater Enterprises, even if you've gone a year ago or two years ago, you need to go again. It's continually evolving, and there's so much self-discovery at the same time that you're discovering Meteor Crater. I'm Julie Pastrick, president of the Greater Flagstaff Chamber. Very happy that you tuned in today. I'll see you next time on the radio. You've been listening to the Chamber Biz Buzz Show, brought to you by the Greater Flagstaff Chamber of Commerce. Today's show has been edited and produced by Clay McCausland with Great Circle Media. Thank you for tuning in.